Hello, it's not Mark, it's not Simon, it's someone else doing the All Age Talk today. I'm Laurie, and today I'd actually like to talk about something that may not sound exciting, but I'm hoping I can make it fun for you. It's rules. We're going to be talking about rules. But first, I'd like to read you a poem called Don't Put Mustard in the Custard, and it's by Michael Rosen. Don't do, don't do that. Don't pull faces, don't tease the cat, don't pick your ears, don't be rude at school. Who do they think I am? Some kind of fool? One day they'll say, don't put toffee in my coffee, don't pour gravy on the baby, don't put beer in his ear, don't stick your toes up his nose. Don't put confetti on the spaghetti, and don't squash your peas on your knees. Don't put ants in your pants, don't put mustard in the custard, don't chuck jelly at the telly, and don't throw fruit at the computer. Don't throw fruit at the computer. I hope your parents have never had to tell you don't throw fruit at the computer or don't put gravy on the baby. Those are some pretty silly rules, aren't they? But did you notice lots of those rules were don't. Don't do this. Don't do that. There were lots of things that this person was not allowed to do. Rules can quite often be don't things, can't they? Or things that you're not allowed to do. Those ones in the poem were quite silly. But there's some rules we have at the moment where we're not allowed to do things. We're only allowed to go outside once a day and we're only allowed to go outside again if we're going to the shops for food. Do you remember when we could go outside and we could meet our friends or meet our family or go and do other things? It seems a long time ago, doesn't it? And that's why we're doing this like a video, because we can't meet up together. Hopefully it will be soon that we can meet up together again. But what about rules? So the reason we're talking about rules is actually I want to tell you a bit about a story from the Bible, from when Jesus was on the earth. So if you've got an adult Bible, you can open it up to Mark chapter 12. And in it, somebody asks Jesus a very good question. They say, of all of the commandments, which is the most important one. Now God had given his people ten commandments in the Old Testament. You might know some of those commandments. One of my favourite commandments is honour your mother and father, which means that children need to listen to what their mummies and daddies say. I hope that's your favourite too. Jesus' answer to the question was a little bit different though. Jesus says, the most important commandment is this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. That sounds like quite a challenge, doesn't it? All our heart, all our soul, all our mind and all our strength. Wow. Now, Jesus actually goes on and answers the question a little bit more. So remember, the man asked, what was the most important commandment? So the first answer Jesus gave was that. But then he says, the second most important commandment is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. Now, we have neighbours who live over there on that side of the house. And we have neighbours who live over there on that side of the house. I wonder if you can look around and work out where your neighbours are. It's not just the people who live in the houses next to you, though. It's your friends and your family. There's another bit in the Bible where Jesus talks about who our neighbours are. I won't spoil the whole story, but it's not just the people who live next to us in our houses. As you're sitting watching this video, why don't you have a look around you? Who's sitting near you watching the video? And who's in the same house? And who are the other people who might be your neighbours? Not just the people in the houses, like we said, but we need to think about how we can love those other people as we love ourselves. 
you might think, well, I don't really love myself all that much. But actually, we look after ourselves, don't we? We try and get what we want and we try and make sure that we keep ourselves happy and clothed and fed. That's good things in a way. But Jesus is saying we need to do that for other people. So have a look around the people near you. You need to think about how you can look after them and keep them healthy and fed and clothed and happy just like you do for yourself. So that might mean for your brother or your sister or your siblings that actually you don't always insist on what you want. You think about what they might like or you do things for your mummy and daddy that actually help them. Honour your mother and father commandment coming back in again. <laughs> Sorry. I'll talk about some of the other commandments later. Loving other people as we love ourselves. That's the second most important commandment. But if we go back to our Bibles, I've got mine again, to Mark chapter 12 and verse 29. Jesus tells us what the most important commandment is. I'm going to read it again, just so that I haven't forgotten. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. That is the most important commandment, to love God. It's not a bad thing, it's a good commandment from a good God. He made us and he knows what's best for us because he made us. And because he's a good God, we know it's not going to be a bad thing or a silly thing, but the most important commandment is going to be important. And so we need to do it. So how can we do it? We're stuck at home due to the coronavirus. How can we do it at home? Well, we can talk to God. When you love someone, you talk to them. You tell them that you love them and you tell them why you love them. But also you might ask them for things or you might tell them how things are going for you. We can do that to God. We can talk to God and we can pray. That's what talking to God is. It's telling God how we're doing and asking him for things and telling him if we need some help with something. The coronavirus situation that we're in is a bit strange, isn't it? There's lots of things that have changed and even the grown-ups don't really know what's going to happen in the next few days because things keep changing very quickly. But God is good and he's been around for eternity, which is a very long time. So he'll be around after coronavirus has finished. And we know that if we ask God to help us because we're feeling worried about the coronavirus or what might happen in the future, he will listen to us. And because he's a good God and because he loves the people who want to follow his commandments, that will help us too. Praying to God doesn't have to be about telling him how we are doing as well. We can also thank God for all the things he does for us. We will have houses, family and friends and lots of other things that God gives us as good things. So we can thank God for those and we can also thank him for all the things that we can read about in the Bible that God has done for us in history as well. There's lots of people who have been Christians before us and who are Christians now. So we can pray about those people and we can thank God and praise him for what he's done. So as well as praying to God, how else could we show God that we love him with all our heart and soul and mind? Well, we could learn more about him. That will help us know more about this God who created us and what he's done. He's been around for a long time and he's done lots of different things with lots of different people in the Bible. And it's great to learn about that because that way we get to know more about God and more about how he is good. For the last videos, we've sung a song together. How about we try a new song today? It's actually one that some of you have sung before. It's called God Made Everything and it's by a band called Awesome Cutlery. I think the song is awesome.
There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man man, boy girl, cheese flan. There's a car, spa, tar bar, aardvark, hard bark, shark dog, park, quark, lark. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an ink link, pink drink, zinc blink, sink link, God made everything. There's a prawn lawn, dawn horn, pick tick, pick tick, zoo zoo, lulu, toot toot. There's a hot spot, not pot, top cop, dot yacht, bees knees, flea ski sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plain grain, plain rain. God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, stare, God made everything. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man man, boy girl, cheese flan. There's a car spa, tar bar, aardvark, hard bark, shark dog, park, quark, lark. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an inkling, pink drink, zing blink, sink ring, God made everything. There's a prawn on dawn horn, pick tick, pick tick, zoo 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 zoo. There's a hot spot, not pot, top cop, dot yacht, bees knees, fleece, fleece, sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plain brain, plain rain, God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, say God made everything. God made everything. God made everything. The last thing before I end the video, I want to try something that Mark did last week. I'm a little bit worried about how it goes, but let's give it a try. Oh, I'm inside the shed. Can someone let me out? Can someone let me out?